This is a remarkable occasion, and we will have the opportunity to do something that is historic. We get to choose whether we continue to remain with a union whose philosophy is that of corporate partner to the employer, limiting the voice of members, or going to a union that represents the voice of democracy, self-determination, and social justice. We've always been at the forefront of uh, determining our own destiny, talk, being able to t have our union work for us as opposed to us clearly f following the dictates of someone else that doesn't know anything about our identity or what our work is like. We always participated in negotiations. Anytime any decisions were being made that affected us, the union paid staff would be there to advise us based on their expertise, but ultimately the decision was left up to us. They removed 80 to 90 percent of our elected leadership, uh, many of whom have been respected leaders with a great deal of experience for, frankly, decades. Immediately they removed everybody that was an AFN steward because we were not loyal to them um, and you know we're not loyal to them we are loyal to our patients we're fighting for quality patient care and SEIU has not really seemed interested in that uh, so it was very obvious right away that they were just gonna you know dismantle us and 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 silence us we've been the voice for patients and patient care at Kaiser, as of course we should be, uh, that is completely absent now and has been completely undermined uh, by the trusteeship. We carry a lot of responsibility with our jobs and the more we know about how it works, the better we can do our job. When I encounter SEIU, we're in the dark about how anything works. SEIU comes in as a gang. They come in in, in twos to fours to six to eight and they prowl the halls and they confront people. They don't seem to be interested in what the members really want. They're not, they're not interested in coming around and finding out what the real problems are in the department. Whatever Kaiser wants, any kind of takeaways that we fought for 30 years to get good benefits, they're just handing them back. SEIU agreed with Kaiser to, um, to change the formulation so that the lump sum payout for a pension would be less. After they cut the deal and then they, they demonstrated against it and had, uh, you know, big demonstrations like, come on, you're the one that cut the deal. Why are you demonstrating now after it's all said and done? They're, um, they're agreeing with Kaiser to either lay off or not adequately staff ancillary staff like ward clerks and CNAs to help the nurses. And it's, it's just getting harder and harder, and SEIU doesn't seem concerned with that. SEIU was already making uh, backroom deals with, um, with the employer, Kaiser, and the union members were, were kept in the dark. You know, to the, to, until the day members were um, handed out the uh, layoff agreements, um, people didn't know. They went around telling everybody, oh, there's no layoffs, there's no layoffs. But the layoffs came. And our contract isn't even expired yet. So imagine what they're going to do when they get the whole contract up for renegotiation. The most important thing is a democratically run union. A union where we know that our vote is going to count. Uh, we know the leaders of NUHW. We've worked with them for years within Kaiser. Uh, they are the leaders that are responsible for helping us get the industry-leading contracts year after year at Kaiser Permanente. NUHW has a different vision than SEIU. The vision is the members are the core critical part of the union and their voice should be heard and respected and, and uh, uh, honored. NUHW means the chance to return to the proud tradition that we had when we were AFN 535, when we were 
autonomous. We made our own decisions. We had a voice, a say in the decisions that affected us. I just love this union. I love NUHW. NUHW!